The control system in MXGP allows you to manipulate the bike and the rider entirely independently of each other, giving you an unprecedented level of control. Regulate the lean angle of the bike with the left stick, use it to steer into corners and to find the most effective line through the corner. The right stick shifts the position of the rider on the seat, altering weight distribution and allowing you to pull off more complex manoeuvres. Remember that every combination of these elements has different consequences for bike behaviour, both in the air and on the ground. To learn how to make the most of these combinations, check out the other tutorials in the multimedia section in my MXGP. These videos will show you how to pull off the principal manoeuvres of motocross, with essential tips to help you develop a precise and effective riding style. The quickest way to slow down coming into a corner is to use the engine brake, but if you want more powerful braking, you can resort to the front brake. This will guarantee reduced stopping distance, but at the same time, it requires greater lean precision to avoid compromising bike stability and the consequent risk of falling. While the rear brake may not be as powerful, it allows you to combine braking and leaning. This technique narrows the line through the corner significantly, and is particularly useful on tight corners. Use of the accelerator while cornering depends on the type of line the rider wishes to follow. On flat corners, a tight line through the corner with short bursts of acceleration is most effective. Banked corners allow a more open line through the corner, where you can accelerate decisively to take advantage of the outside edge of the track and gain speed coming out of the corner. In both cases, you can control bike oversteer by shifting rider weight forward with the right stick. Get as much practice as possible on each track, trying out different lines. This is the only way to work out what the ideal lines are for each corner. The first thing to know about jumps is that not all of them should be approached at full throttle. This is because jumping very high means spending more time in the air, making you lose precious seconds. In the case of single jumps, or jumps followed by a corner, you should carry out a controlled jump by releasing the accelerator just before you jump. This means your trajectory will be lower, guaranteeing rapid acceleration and full control of the bike. If you want to jump as far as possible, you should accelerate and pull the right stick back as you approach the top. This will shift the rider's weight onto the back wheel and your jump will have a longer trajectory. This manoeuvre is particularly recommended for longer jumps or to jump over more than one jump at a time. When you are faced with a series of jumps, try pulling a controlled wheelie. Pull the right stick back and accelerate decisively to pull the front wheel up. This allows the rear shock absorbers to absorb the effects of the uneven ground. Remember that there is no definitive rule regarding how to best approach each jump, and it often depends on each rider's style. Only training and knowledge of the track will let you know what's best for your riding style. The best place to land is right after the top of the jump, where the shape of the ground mitigates the effects of the descent, stopping the rider from losing balance. In this phase, you should aim to hit the ground with both of the bike's wheels at the same time. There are various ways you can control the bike's pitch in the air. The simplest method is to shift the rider's weight in the seat using the right stick. You can also use the accelerator and the rear brake. Accelerating will tend to raise the front wheel while putting on the rear brake will direct the front wheel downwards. Obviously both techniques are effective and the choice of which is better adapted to your riding style is up to you. The scrub is a manoeuvre aimed at minimising the amount of time spent in the air, allowing the rider to start accelerating again as soon as possible. To perform a scrub, move both sticks in the direction you would like to scrub towards, causing a sharp sideways movement of rider and bike. The timing of the manoeuvre is essential in pulling off an effective scrub. Anticipate the movement too much and you risk falling or landing outside the track, 
Leave it too late and you'll just perform a simple whip. The ideal moment is just before the actual jump, when the wheels of the bike are about to lose touch with the ground. The better your timing of the scrub, the more linear your trajectory will be. Mastering the scrub can make a significant difference on the track, but obviously not all jumps can be taken on with this approach. You will have to use your riding experience to judge where and when scrubbing will be to your advantage. In your headquarters, you can manage all your riding activities and rest when you aren't busy on the racetrack. In the locker, you can customise your clothing and choose which helmet to wear. The computer will keep you in touch with your team and your fans. You can use the calendar to access the next event. You can also check the championship standings on the television and read the official magazine to check up on all the latest developments in the world of MXGP. Before each weekend, a rider from your category will throw down the gauntlet for a rider challenge. If you manage to beat him, your fan base will grow.